friends, welcome back to another episode of Two Idiot Girls. Ooh. How you doing? Good. <laughs> Got my shake, shake alert. Drew's, uh, Drew's current hyperfixation is the shake. What is it? Or it's a smoothie. It's not a shake. It's a smoothie, yeah. What is it? A milkshake. I'm just drinking a milkshake. A big ass milkshake. Yeah. It's a smoothie. I know. What is it? It's from Juice It Up. Mm-hmm. I don't know if they have Juice It Up everywhere, but the, this is from Juice It Up. It's called The Zone. Dang. Do you feel like you're in the zone? <laughs> yes, Some the zone. might say that Auto I'm zone. in the zone. All right. <laughs> it's a, it's like a peanut butter, banana kind of vibe. Is it oat milk? I don't know. Probably not. I'm not entirely sure. Well, you haven't been having choro, so. Maybe yeah, so it could be made yeah. with water. Can I try it? Yeah. Wait, maybe it's almond milk. And then my throat will swell up and I'll die on set. Worth it. <laughs> I don't like that. <gasps> you know what? Isn't there protein in there? Yeah. There's meat in that. Oh, <gasps> I'm sorry. I just realized that. Or not meat. Well, it's whey. It's like a cre- creatine mm-hmm. is made with like something. It, doesn't in have cre- it does not have creatine. No, in I'm it. saying protein powder has creatine in it. Or uh-huh. some sort of, oh, sorry, it's whey powder. That's what I'm thinking of. This is whey. Yeah, whey. the whey powder has like something animal based in it. I forgot. Oh shit, I'm sorry. I didn't even think, I'm fucking, I'll take it. And I, I, it's so not I'm your sorry. fault, it's my fault. Well, it's like a protein shake, essentially. But it tastes really yummy. I think it tastes like chalk, so I'm okay. <gasps> That's how you know it's protein. <laughs> <laughs> it's all in there. Yeah. Do you remember the show Chalk Zone? Mm-hmm. <sighs> remember how you only had one tooth? What was that about? <laughs> Mean animators. <laughs> what the hell is that about? <laughs> His name was Rudy. That was fun. <laughs> Sorry. That was horrible. I just got a big tickle in my nose and then I <clears> snipped <throat> into the mic. His name was Rudy. That was pretty cool. Rudy with one tooth. Yeah. You guys. That's okay. weird. So we're filming this obviously ahead of time. Not really, but kind of, right? Uh-huh. So by the time you see this, we will have already seen Beyonce twice. Yeah, we just saw her. We just saw her. So right now when we're filming it, we've only seen her once. Yes. But by the time we're you also, see it. We'll, we're also going to the birthday show. We're going show to the birthday show. With someone really fucking cool and awesome that I cannot talk about, but I will be there. We went with SoFi, my faves. We mm-hmm. love SoFi. And we went with them to see Taylor Swift too. So getting to go to see Beyonce with them also was fucking awesome. It was really cool. Yeah. And it was a blast and a half. It was me and Days, our mom. Our cousin Josh, who's one of Beyonce's biggest, biggest fans. all-time fans, like for the longest, he has been such a, a die-hard fan forever. He's been to multiple of her tours too, mm-hmm. um, so I'm really excited. I got to take him, and then uh, we went with Brittany and Chris our Clemens and Chris Clemens. Our who we haven't bestie. seen in so long, and it was I know, so I fun. Seen Chris in person in Prev, so it was a fucking blast. Mm-hmm. Like we had so much fun. She is just unbelievable live like i haven't been able to see her live because i've been a brokey every time she went on tour and then she went same on, then she went on a hiatus for a while yeah right um she was cooking having her family whatever i'm just kidding um so she took a break for a while when i did have money and i couldn't go uh but dason saw her at coachella yeah, when she had lines which i'm so jealous of but i literally couldn't because i was like in hawaii at the time and I was so jealous, but she sent me lots of videos. I remember when we were there, um, which is so fucking awesome. So I got to see her for the first time ever live. And it was just as if not more show stopping and unbelievable than I ever could have imagined. Truly. Like she was just so fucking incredible live. Like, wow. <laughs> wow. What a talent. <laughs> I told everyone when we left, I was like, I know a higher power is real because I exist at the same time as her. She just looked so pretty the whole time. She's just so fucking unbelievable. Yeah. Like, how do you have that much talent in such a beautiful fucking face? Like, and I just can't believe it. I'm in this fucking belief, honestly. Like, it was interesting seeing her after we saw Taylor Swift because mm-hmm. Taylor Swift performs nonstop for three whole hours. Yeah, and then Beyonce. How many of those little intermission scenes she had? Like maybe four or five. There were a few, yeah, where she's just doing costume changes. Costume changes, yeah. yeah. But it was still really fun. Yeah. And it was kind of nice to have an intermission. So I could I could take a little break. I could sit down. Yeah, I just always think, like, 
I think that they're both superstars in their own right, but I just don't think anyone on this planet could ever compare to Beyonce, <laughs> including like literally anybody mm -hmm. could ever compare to her. Like she's just otherworldly. We got to watch um, DJ Khaled at the beginning, which was that so was fun. That was that, that was, was so fun. fun. She, he brought out YG. Why it was like YG, Big Sean, Big Sean, Lil Durk, OT Dochi, Genesis, and OT Genesis. Yeah, Dochi. Yeah. She looks so good. She's so good. beautiful. It makes me I like, wish sick. they let her perform longer. She only got to do like, I think two songs. So most of them only got to do two. It, is she the one that does like, that? Like OC Genesis only did two. Mm -hmm. Big Sean only did two. Oh, I just felt like YG was out there for. Yeah, YG was out there for a minute. <laughs> for, like, for like 50 he years. He was out there for a while. <laughs> but uh, what was I going to say? Does Dochi sing the that song about where she's introducing herself and she's in a classroom? I don't know. And I can't her, it, Oh, it's called Yucky Blucky Fruitcake. That is her. Okay. And she looked fucking gorgeous. She looked like she looked unbelievably beautiful. Um, it was so fun because like, I mean, other than DJ Khaled just being like himself, so like himself, <laughs> um, he has worked on tons of hits, obviously. Like he has a lot, he works with so many famous people. It's crazy. And, um, it like all the songs that were playing, like especially in the beginning, <laughs> were like my prime thought bitch self college days. Like, like I literally have a playlist that like has almost all those songs on them. And like Dochi and Lil Durk are like a little bit more recent mm -hmm. than like obviously someone like YG has been around for a while, but like it's like those ones I was like, now I feel old because like I know these songs, but like they're like from TikTok, but like the other songs, I was like. I was like dancing to in the fucking club, like in the bar and shit when I was, he just like, it's just such a fucking vibe. Like the shit that he comes out with is such like, it's just so fun. Like to me, it's just so fun. Um, and she gave us the big three, which if you didn't know is when she does thick all up in your mind and then drunken love period. Bitch. And I didn't really do the drunken love. The, when she ends the song, it's the, I don't know what the word is for singing, but um, the outro of it is what she did in Dubai. Yeah, yeah, it was the Dubai riff. Like, yeah, the, the run. that's the word. I couldn't think of it. Yeah, the run that she has. Wait, hold on. I saw like a really funny comment on Beyonce's, like obviously I follow her on Instagram, but I saw a really funny comment on her thing. <laughs> yeah, someone wrote, I see the things you do for other cities. <laughs> Blue Ivy was so cute. I loved her. Yeah. Like someone said, the fact that you did the big three for LA, I'll never forgive you. <laughs> it's just like, cause she doesn't do it all the time and she did it for LA, but like, and she had an opener, which I saw a lot of people say like, what the fuck? It's her but birthday like, weekend. But it's her birthday weekend. That's why she's going all out. But that's just like, ugh, it was so fucking fun from the beginning to the very end. It was just a fucking blast. It was so much fun. And she's just a once in a lifetime performer. So I'm like really fucking happy I got to see her and twice. Yeah, I'm only see seen her again her, tomorrow. I'm excited. I've only seen her once as of right now. But when you when guys you see this, this, it will have been twice. Yep. When you guys see this too, we'll be in New York. We sure will. We'll be there for a while too. For a minute, yeah. I'm going to be away from home base for a while. Ugh, not looking forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> and then when we come back, it's going to be my birthday. <gasps> it is which is exciting i'm turning 28 which is very exciting Dang, that's crazy wait i also want to say this i so like obviously like everyone's showing the fuck out in outfits and stuff so like i wore a very cute and awesome outfit at the saturday show and i had a couple of people be like i don't get it then don't you know what i mean i just think that people are are acting as if i asked for advice and i didn't <laughs> like if I didn't ask for commentary on my look, um, then don't give it to me. It's okay. Um, if you don't like it, that's fine too. But it's like fashion is an art form that's also subjective, like all art is. So like whatever works for you, great. You know what I'm saying? You want to wear just jeans and a sparkly top, that's totally cool. Um, I didn't want to do that because I wanted to like wear something cooler and like edgier. So I did. And the glam always eats the fuck up. So like, I wasn't worried about glam, obviously, but I loved my outfit and I felt really, really pretty and awesome in it. And that's all that fucking matters, which is what I want to emphasize. And another point I want to make too, is that some of you guys fucking forget how hard it is to be styled as a bigger girl. Like 
some of you really fucking forget that shit. Like, it would be like so awesome for me to wear a Mugler. Um, do they wear, do they make clothes in my size? No. As do most designers, they don't. So I work with almost exclusively small designers because nobody makes clothes big enough to fucking fit me. So if I wear an outfit and I feel fucking cunt, then I just want you to respect the fact that I feel cunt and that's it. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's literally it. And also if I, if you write some hateful shit about my look on my thing and I go to your page and I see that you wear Easter Sunday dresses and you think you're eating it up, then I don't want to fucking hear it. I don't want to hear it. Bro. Yeah. If you don't work in fashion. Yeah. If you don't work in fashion, <laughs> if you have no experience with fashion. I don't think it makes, that would be like me telling like Travis Kelsey, like, I feel like you would catch the ball a lot better <laughs> yeah, if you like, did this thing that I know nothing about. It's unqualified and it's unsolicited advice. Like I didn't ask for it. So don't give it to me. Me like, telling Beyonce how I think she could sing better. I have no experience in singing. Yeah, like, <laughs> and my whole thing is like, if I don't like it, it's because it's not my style. Does that mean I'm going to be like, I just don't understand why you would wear something like that. No, I'm going to be like, if you feel cut in it, bitch, that's all that matters. Well, and you guys, if Hailey Bieber wore that outfit, we all know what kind of people would Look like it. Look me in the fucking eyes and tell me that if a skinny bitch was wearing that outfit, you would be like, she's so edgy. She's so cool. But because I'm like a thick girl and it like it, the fit lies on me a little bit differently, they're like, well, actually... Come on. Stop. I do know Hailey Bieber invented cinnamon butter cookie hair, which is brown hair and blueberry milk nails and strawberry makeup. What was the one you said? Latte lips. Latte lips. I yeah. know she invented <laughs> like all of that. Dark lighter and a nude lip. Yeah, I got it. I know <laughs> she invented that, but come on, guys. It's just, that's the shit I'm talking about where I'm like, you guys have such a fucking double standard because yeah. if it was like, if it was on a thin body, like you guys would eat it the fuck up. Mm -hmm. um, but because it's not, you guys have something to fucking say. And I didn't ask for the advice is more, most importantly, you know, what's funny too, is like, I did post a video to of me at the streamies, which I ate that look up too. I looked fucking awesome and I felt beautiful and that's all that matters. <laughs> what? Are you talking about the ladies comment? Oh my God. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'll get to that. That wasn't even what I was going to say, but yeah. <laughs> that is something I did want to talk about on the podcast, actually. But, well, I posted it and then, like, <laughs> some people were literally like, girl, like, if I were you, like, I would pose like this. Hey, stop right there. <laughs> stop right the fuck there, bitch. Did I ask for posing advice or did I say, look how, look how beautiful I look. I felt so beautiful. I felt so hot. <laughs> hot, sexy, hot, sexy, hot, sexy. That's how I felt. That's my new bit. That was guys. Jason's bit. Every time she saw like a really hot dancer at Beyonce last night, like on the screen, she was like, hot, sexy, hot, sexy, hot, sexy, hot, sexy. And then she would stop once it cut to someone else. <laughs> hot, sexy, hot, sexy, hot, sexy. <laughs> Me every time Honey Balenciaga came on screen. Hot, sexy, hot, sexy, hot, sexy. Literally. literally. Talk about someone serving cunt, bitch. But anyways, <laughs> hot, sexy, hot, sexy, hot, sexy. That's just how I felt on the streamy's carpet. Not once did I ask for posing advice and yet it was being given to me mm -hmm. consistently, mm -hmm. aggressively, if you will. Some people are like, what were their tips? I want to hear them. One of them was like, got to find something to do with those hands, girl. And I'm like, you want me to put them on my hips? Would you guys eat me the fuck up if I was standing like that in that dress? And I was going, Sh shush that. And someone said, um, <laughs> You can, I can tell you're so nervous by the hand placement, but like, you need to be confident. <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Like literally shut up. Like that's I, crazy. Who the fuck? My titties were out and I literally had just underwear, nothing else on underneath that fucking dress. Not you're just chonies guys. It was a full tongue. Like literally full tongue. My full ass was out and my dad was there. That's weird. But like my full ass was out the whole night. My tits were out the whole night. You think I wasn't confident, bitch? Please, please. Right. It's just like, that's projection onto me. Like, don't put that on me, girl. <sighs> but like, uh, and also I these backhanded comments. And this the is, worst. I'm not kidding. The 30th carpet I've walked. Like yeah. you think, trust me when I say <laughs> I've seen enough high res photos of myself mm. <laughs> to know what poses work for me and what don't. What else do they say? I want to, I want to get better at posing too. Maybe I can apply these to my life. If they were just saying like, be more confident, to be more confident. I wrote, was, I wrote was that down. I wrote one. that down. Okay. The hands thing. And I'm like, okay, first of all, when you post like this, they're like, I forget there's a name from Adam knows the name. I forget.
All right, guys, we're going to take a quick little break, and this is with our friends at ZocDoc. So have you ever been on the hunt for a new doctor and you ask literally everyone you know for their current recommendation? You know, a doctor who actually gets you, listens to you, and makes you feel super comfortable. And finally, after weeks of searching, you find the one. They meet your needs. They're super close by. Um, Maybe you guys have the same favorite movie and TV show, and you guys can bond over that, right? So you call their office, and they have an appointment available. But then the receptionist tells you that this perfect doctor doesn't take your insurance insurance. Wipe your tears and put away the ice cream and head over to ZocDoc to find and book the doctor who is right for you and takes your insurance. So ZocDoc is a free app where you can find amazing doctors and book appointments online. We're talking about booking appointments with thousands of top rated patient review doctors and specialists. You can filter specifically for ones who take your insurance, are located near you, and treat almost any condition you're searching for. These docs all have verified reviews from actual real patients, not bots. That's arguably my favorite part of this. It's like when you're buying stuff on Amazon, I want to know what everyone else is saying first before I commit, right? The average wait time to see a doctor book on ZocDoc is between 24 to 48 hours. That's it. You can even score same day appointments. Once you find the doc you want, you can book them immediately with just a few app taps. No more waiting awkwardly on hold with a receptionist. If I was on the hunt for a doctor and I needed one quick, this is exactly what I would use to help me find one. So all of you can go to ZocDoc.com slash two idiot girls and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top rated doctor today. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C.com slash two idiot girls. ZocDoc.com slash two idiot girls. Now back to the episode. Editorial hands. Editorial hands. That's what it is. And nine times out of 10, they do this to show the jewelry bitch because I was styled from head to toe. And if I have rings on, I have to show them. So that, like I said, do you want me to stand like this or do you want me to stand like, like this? Yeah. Like literally (laughs) that's what I'm saying. Like, I know how to walk a carpet. I know what makes me feel good and what doesn't. I've tried multiple poses, believe it or not. I've tried standing with my hands at my sides and I look insane. <laughs> and I hate, I regretted that when I did that. I said, oh, hate that. Oh, hate that. Not for me. Not for not me. Not for me. Not for me. Not, not hot, sexy. Not hot, sexy. Not no. hot, sexy. Well, kind of hot, sexy. <laughs> and that's a great transition into today's topic, unless you have something else you want to no, share. No, that's all. Oh, uh, we asked you guys to send us your funny back to school stories. <laughs> do you have any? Nope. No, me neither. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I don't think I do. Um, oh, wait. I just thought of one. When we were in high school, uh, we used to... Uh, Take our, I don't know if you still do this in high school, because obviously I've been out of high school for 10 years now. But when I was like, uh, when we would register for school, we would take our photos then. Do you remember that? Yeah. Like, so we would come in the early summer, like, well, not early summer. It'd be like a few weeks before school yeah, yeah, starts. Yeah, for right? registration. Yes, yeah. Okay. So you go register, you get your schedule, like all that stuff. And then we would take our photo for the yearbook. Mm-hmm. Um, and so we would do that like before school even started. And I remember when I was a freshman in high school, um, they have like a whole day thing planned because it's like a freshman orientation thing. They like tell you about the school, like where, you, crew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, where you can find everything, mm-hmm. like ASB, like all that stuff. And that they, was like, so miserable for me. It was. <laughs> for Jason especially. Yeah, because I went to high school not knowing anyone. Me too. And I went with like all my whole volleyball team and then they all hung out with their friends except for me. <laughs> <laughs> And then when they were talking about doing icebreakers and stuff, I was like, oh, I really don't want to. Yeah, that season's the worst nightmare. Having being forced interaction with strangers. <laughs> <laughs> that's awful. Our worst, that's our worst nightmare. Um, but same, like me and Days transferred to a high school in a different district. So like we didn't know anyone when we initially went to school. Like obviously I knew Days when I went, but she wasn't at my freshman orientation. So um they like split you up in these groups. And I remember I got separated from my volleyball girls, like, because I played volleyball too. I think only one of them was in my group, but then, like, everybody else got put in yeah. groups. And then we had to do, like, team building stuff, like, team spirit stuff, like, shit like that, right? And there was this one thing where they were, like, going to give gift cards to the winners of, like, the spirit challenge or some shit like that. I forget the context. But basically, we had to, like, um, our like link crew leaders or whatever gave us like bags of stuff and they were like, okay, you guys need to look spirited for school or whatever. Right. And they were like, basically make, I don't know if it's like costumes or what, like we had to make signs and like basically look really spirited. And they gave us like 
hair pain and like face pain and like shit from like the dollar store, you know? And they were like, you have 10 minutes or some shit like that. And because I'm a Virgo and I'm bossy, I like, of course I was in charge. So I like took charge the whole time we were doing stuff. And for that, I'm like, okay guys, we have to win the gift cards. It was like literally like $5 gift cards to like fucking Jersey Mike's or like Starbucks (laughs) or something small. And everyone would get one. And then I remember, uh, we, I was like, okay, everyone has to look spirited. And I started like telling people you should paint your face. You should do your hair. Um, all that stuff. And then they were like, uh, are you sure? And I'm like, yeah, if you guys want to win, I'm like, well, clearly you guys don't want to win. Oh, so none of you are being serious. I see. Okay. And so then I like, I'm not kidding. I spray painted so many people's hair with that spray paint. I painted so many faces. Were you supposed to use it on signs? And not their no, hair. no, oh, okay. it could be used for either. Okay. Like, so we made signs too, but I like made sure everyone had something okay, like okay. on their hair or their face. Mm-hmm. And then for me, <laughs> um, I was like, well, I like really don't want to put anything on my face or in my hair, so I just wore a necklace. <laughs> You're and it was a bitch. like, and it was like a Jonas Brother one. I don't know why that was in there. I just remember that so distinctly. And then after, <laughs> <laughs> I was like. <laughs> After, because I was like, do you want to do it? Yes or no? And then they'd be like, mm. and I'm like, come on, it's going to be fun. And they're like, yeah. <laughs> and then they'd say, yeah. So then we'd do it. And then I didn't do it to myself, obviously. And so then we won. Everybody got the gift card. And then they took us to go take our pictures. And oh, I remember, what, everyone. And I remember this guy was like, my whole head is red. I'm supposed to take my picture like this. And I was like, he told me that, but he wasn't like mad at me. Like he was just like in disbelief. <laughs> and then I was like, "You're like, I know that sucks." I was like, "Oh God, I don't oh. know." I said, like, "Maybe they'll let you wash it out in the bathroom." I don't know. And then I just went and took my picture. <laughs> <laughs> but it, the joke's on me because the choker is on my neck in that picture. The so, Jonas Brothers neck. Yeah. So uh, the, the joke is on me. Like I got karma. Karma hit me. He goes to wash his head in the sink, and then it bleeds on his face, <laughs> and his face is stained. He's like, "Oh no." <laughs> And like, I think what he ended up doing was just doing a makeup day. Like he just like was like, I'm not taking my picture today. And then he got to take it later. He's like, I'm supposed to take my picture like this. My whole head is red. And I was like, oh, that's crazy. Next. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> uh, do you want to win or not? <laughs> I said, hey, we still got one though. We won the gift cards. So. That's a pretty funny one because we were about to go back to school anyways. I was trying to think. I don't have any funny ones. Really? Yeah. From I high remember, school? I remember one time I got, like, when we were younger, we didn't have money, really. So, like, when we, but when we would go back to school shopping, my mom would be like, you pick two pairs of shoes. Mm-hmm. Like, new school shoes. But I remember we would, the course, we had the same size shoe and kind of wore the same size clothing. Yeah. That was... <laughs> It was a while ago. It's not like that anymore. But um, for shoes, it is. But we would like coordinate, like, okay, I'll buy this skirt and then you buy this shirt. Yeah. So we could like maximize swap outfits. As we got older, that stopped because Jason refused to let me use anything that she owned. In high school, we did it all the time. No, we didn't. Yeah, we did. No, we did did. not. But okay, go ahead. Finish your story. We did that all the time in elementary to middle school. I remember refusing to do it then, but I did it in high school. No, bitch, you didn't. Because we fought all the time over clothes in high school. That was like the only reason we ever fought. Whatever. They said, I, roll the fucking clips. Because if you go back. We I'm were, editing this. I'm not rolling anything. <laughs> Wait, I'm not really, doing any of that. I meant the audience. Go back and watch this. Have we or have we not in past episodes joked about me wearing something of hers and her being like is that mine and i'd be like it's in my drawer it was in my drawer she'd be like which does that make sense and then she'd go it's still mine and i go okay well can i wear it because you know it was in my drawer she hasn't seen it for months she's not planning on wearing it and she'd be like no because it's older sister shit so no that's not true okay (laughs) like we would we did share clothes sometimes but for the most part we fought about them as we got older okay but anyways when we got new school shoes i remember we would do that with shoes too like we would each get a pair that we really wanted. And then the other pair we would try to coordinate because we'd be like, so we can trade these. Um, and I remember I had already gotten a pair that I really fucking wanted this year. And then um, we were in like that by the old house, the old townhouse. Like um, we were in that weird. It's like a Vans shoe store kind of, but it also had other shoes in there. Um, but they had those like Vans 
that I got the like boots. They were like the Vans checkered <laughs> ones with the pink. They were like literally a platform Vans, but they went up to like they didn't go very high. They went to like calf length, <laughs> like the, yeah. the, the and they were checkered and they were checkered and the inside was like hot pink, so you could like yeah. fold them down or you could wear them all the way up. They were insane. Yeah, yeah, they were insane. And then I remember my uncle was like, "You should get these," and I was like, "I'm not getting those." And he's like, mm, okay, I guess somebody doesn't want to be cool then. You just want to get basic stuff. And that literally pissed me off so bad. Like, I got them. Mm. And Dayson was like, what the fuck? Because I already got a pair that I wanted. And she's like, I'm not wearing those. And then I was like, I know, but, like, they're so cool. But then I was like, okay, then I'm getting two yeah, shoes Yeah, Dayson was like, then I'm getting my own shoes. I was like, no, Dayson, don't. Because, like, I already got a silly pair. <laughs> and, I wanna, and then, and, like, spite drove me to buy that other pair. <laughs> and then I just had... Two nonsensical <laughs> pairs of shoes. <laughs> and then my mom was like, you already bought a, you are, she told me to, you, are you sure you want those? And I was like, yes. And they said, wasn't watching me when I bought them. And then when I showed her, she's like, I'm not wearing them. <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> I did end up wearing them though. Cause they were, they were, came in clutch during my Jonas Brothers era. That is true. You did wear I remember them a few I wore times. those with my. I, had I like, wore them a lot. Too. I had purple skinny jeans, like lavender <laughs> ones from Old Navy, mm-hmm. and then I wore a teal uh, polo. <laughs> gay, super gay. We had to wear so polos to school. Fuck off. We had to wear shirts with collars. Did you have to button them all the way up like you did, or was I that- didn't? I left the top one open. I did. I had a really cool side bang. Anyways, that's what you said. Do you have to button them up like how you did? Or? Stop hate criming me on this. <laughs> I'm just saying. That's like. Anyways. Have you watched um, Miley Cyrus's Used to Be Young series? On Every YouTube time they shorts? come up, I watch them, yeah. They're on shorts. Oh, okay. I've been watching yeah. on TikTok. That's me right. too, okay. but I went and looked for them because I wanted to see them. There's She's, like 50 of them. Where's, give me the whole video. Where's, I know. A lot of people are like, can you please just drop this in a yeah. whole video? Um, they probably will. But did you see the one where she was like showing that picture of her? It's like her, Taylor Swift, Demi Lovato, and like Emily Osment. I think so. I think you told me the story. Yeah. I haven't told you about this because I just saw it. And she said she was leaving the Grammys and she's wearing sweats and everyone else is dressed up. Yeah, she has like sweatpants and a cardigan and like a double tank situation on. Okay. Um, and she's like, if you guys couldn't tell I was bisexual by this photo. Yes. I, actually, I saw that. You saw yeah. it, yeah. <laughs> like, that's taste. <laughs> when, Not old, even. when you look back at your old pictures. Not good. I can't <laughs> think of any funny school stories that I want to share. They'll probably come to you as we go. Yeah, to be maybe we'll be inspired by your guys's. Okay. Yeah. This first one's from Gracie. Mm-hmm. She said in high school, when I first read this, I thought it was from middle school. So I was even more confused. So she said in high school, this boy would put worms he found in a Ziploc bag and then proceeded to fill it with water and he would shake it and act like it was a stress ball. RIP worms. <laughs> What the fuck? When I first read it, I thought it said elementary school. And then I read it again. I'm like, high school? That's so, like, odd. <laughs> that, like, upsets me. That's, like, when we were at Coachella. Um, and we, like, obviously we went with Britt and Katie. Um, but <laughs> the first night we were there, we were, like, eating dinner and just talking for a long time. <laughs> and she was, she said, like, have you guys seen that meme? I don't even remember what the fuck we were talking about. But she's like, have you guys seen that meme where it's, like, um, whenever I get really mad, I just bite this picture of Louis Tomlinson. <laughs> it literally, like, when she said that, it made me cry. I was laughing so hard, it made me literally cry. And she's like, I just bite the shit out of it. <laughs> That's what that feels like to me. Like, feels like the equivalent to that. Because then it's like, um, like <laughs> when she told me that, I was like, what? And then when she showed me the <laughs> meme, I was like, oh, yeah, I have seen this, actually. <laughs> so like, I just the bite same, the shit out of it. It's the same with, like, the one where they're, like, the little Hannah Montana, like, cowboy boot pillow. Oh, <laughs> so they would pour milk on it and suck it and throw it against the wall. So of like, and when you throw it, it would make a loud thud. <laughs> like, what? Oh like I don't know if that shit is real, but like I kind of hope it is. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm scared. Me too. <laughs> like, the Louis Tomlinson thing. <laughs> it's like it's literally like a fucking like like baseball card of him. Like, so it's hard. 
It's like cardstock, you know? I just, I just bite the shit out of it whenever I'm stressed or angry. And if I was oh Louis Tomlinson God, and I saw that, I would take that as a threat, <laughs> like a threat of violence. Like if you were doing that. It's to against me. me in my life. Dude. Like, I oh am God. afraid of you. I'm afraid of you. <laughs> the cowboy pillow, too. Like, you suck it, like, suck on the. <laughs> <laughs> that's so scary oh that worm God. thing like you just so like if you're using a ziploc bag filled with water as like a stress ball like why the worms like no you... she's just saying he would sh shake it and act like it was a stress ball so i don't think he would make it to be one she was just saying like how he would act about it it sounds like he was making it on purpose so he could squish it which is what you do with stress balls. Yeah. But, like, I'm just saying, like, the worms didn't need to be in there. Like, <laughs> you could have just filled it with water. Like, it just... Ugh, and worms make my butthole hurt. And that's also weird. But, like, the fact that you add, like, an element where you're watching something die, too, is sure. also very ominous yeah. to me. That's Ugh. not that's not funny. That's scary. <laughs> oh, okay. Friends, we're going to take a quick little break. And this is with our friends at Babbel. Estas disfrutando de mi podcast? Thanks to Babbel. I know what that means. Do you? So guys, here I am once again updating you on my journey through Spanish. I love it. I'm having so much fun. And it's so funny how being able to exercise my brain in this way makes my mental health a little bit better. What the heck? Um, but all in all, I've always wanted to learn a second language. And I grew up around Spanish my whole life. And this has been really fun being able to work with Babbel and really continue that journey if you know what i mean so this summer you can start speaking a new language with Babbel, and why Babbel? because it works instead of paying hundreds of dollars for a private tutor or filling yourself with language apps that are a little more than games Babbel's quick 10-minute lessons are designed by over 150 language experts to help you start speaking a new language in as little as three weeks Babbel is designed by real people for real conversations. All of Babbel's tips and tools for learning a new language are approachable, accessible, rooted in real life situations, and delivered with conversation-based teaching. Okay, girl, so I've been telling you that I've been practicing my Spanish, right? And it's been really easy to pick up because I keep practicing every single day. But something else I've been trying is I will try to watch TV shows in different languages that I've already watched to see if I understand what they're saying. And guess what? I do. It's been working. I'm very excited about it. Plus, Babbel's speech recognition technology helps you to improve your pronunciation and accent. With over 10 million subscriptions sold, Babbel is real language learning for real conversations. Here's a special limited time deal for our listeners to get you started right now. Get 55% off your Babbel subscription, but only for our listeners at babbel.com slash two idiot girls. Get 55% off at babbel.com slash two idiot girls, spelled B A B B E L dot com slash two idiot girls rules and restrictions may apply now back to the episode okay this next one's from anna she said my first day of eighth grade i was chosen to help the teacher write on the whiteboard and i thought it was hot shit <laughs> because i got to sit in a special rolling chair instead of my desk one day i dropped the marker and i bent down to pick it up and i ripped ass in front of two guys <laughs> <laughs> one immediately called me out and i attempted to gaslight my way out of it saying really you think i farted you really heard <laughs> me fart <laughs> I was able to convince one, but the other one signed on me for the rest of year. <laughs> that was a perfect example of like <laughs> that tweet that's like, I support women's rights and also women's wrongs. <laughs> like, I'm with you, bitch. Like, lie till the fucking cows really, come home. Really? You bitch. think I farted? You really heard me fart? <laughs> I like how you can tell you're young because your method is just like, really? Me? <laughs> like, it's just, there's no logic to it. It's just like, you think I fart? Me? Oh my God, dude. And she said I convinced one, but the other one, <laughs> he was un unmoved. <laughs> That's so fucking funny, dude. That is so fucking funny. And you're like, and you're feeling yourself too because you have like that kind of like special job. Yeah. I used to have those in school too. Like I think in like fourth and fifth grade, I remember we had like jobs around the classroom and we would vote on who got to do what. And I remember the best job in my opinion was teacher's assistant. Yeah. So I got to like. I take got, stuff to the office. Yeah. Take stuff to the office. Other classrooms. Yeah. yeah. Other classrooms. Got to write on the board. 
I got to be in charge if she left. <laughs> Duh. Me getting me wanting to be a dictator at all times. <laughs> if I ever could have picked a different career than this, I would want to be a teacher, honestly, because I love writing on the board. <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> I love writing on the whiteboard, I tell you what. I think teachers are heroes and saints. So I like, <laughs> for that reason, I don't think I would make a good teacher. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. That's why I shouldn't be a teacher. If all I want to do is write on the whiteboard. If I was going to be a teacher, I would want to be, um, like a daycare kind of teacher, to be honest. Um, I'd like, uh, I think I would vibe with younger kids. I, I'm really kid. I'm really good with kids. Like, yeah, I, I mean, really, I worked in a middle school and kids are so mean. So they are. That's uh, what I, that's what I'm like, like, I'd want them in elementary school because they're not mean yet. But then again, I don't know because I'm not a teacher. Yeah. But I just say I worked in middle schoolers and they were so mean. <laughs> yeah. So mean. And then I can't be mean back because I'm an adult. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> I've been a babysitter like thousands of times. Like I've babysat so many different kids. I, I babysat a newborn once, like uh, went on New Year's Eve, like. Um, these parents that are like friends with my family, like they just had a baby and they wanted to go to a party, but they had no one to watch the newborn. So like I watched her all night, got paid really well for it too. Um, <clears throat> but I'm really, really good with kids. I just think that job is so fucking hard. So no, I, I know I fucking salute y'all, but I remember a teacher's assistant was like my favorite. And then the other thing you got to do was like, if you got in trouble at our school and you were like, we used to call it being benched, but you're just like, it's just, you miss recess or uh, lunch recess or first recess or whatever. And you get bench slips or white slips, which are ones you have to take home and have your parents sign if you do something bad. And I remember that was my job was to write them too. Oh, ooh, too much power. Too much power. You're like, oh, what are they, <clears throat> what are they booking you for? Huh? <laughs> what are you in for? Uh, and I remember I'd be like, a white or yellow. You know what I mean? Yeah, you'd have them on your desk. I have like a little pencil case. Yes, I had the same. I wanted that job so bad. Yeah, I, I remember once I got the job, I like would convince people every... Oh, I'm sure. Every semester to vote for me again. She would bully them into voting for her. Not bully. I just had a lot of friends in the class. And, and I'd she'd be like, be like, if you pick me, I'll hang out with you at lunch. <laughs> Stuff like that. She That's barter. not true. I would not She was say lobbying that. for herself. <laughs> yeah, I was lobbying. Like a true politician. Grassroots, you know. <laughs> Grassroots start from the bottom kind of thing. I would literally just, I loved that job mostly because I got to write stuff and also like uh, take things <laughs> to different <laughs> classrooms. I just like the uh, the authority of it. I mean, yeah. That, that was my that favorite That makes job. sense, yeah. So I feel that about writing on the whiteboard. I feel those vibes. Her just ripping ass in class. That's so funny. That's so fucking funny. Really me? Why would I do that? <laughs> okay, this next one's from Aura. They said, when I was a freshman, we were playing tag in PE. Tag in PE, high school PE is crazy. And yeah, the freshman in high school, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it's a freshman in college. <laughs> that Dude, would honestly make more that sense. That would be more fun. That okay. would make more sense to me, to be honest. They said, when I was a freshman, we were playing tag in PE, and the girl who was the tagger ate shit, and the whole gym went silent. She got up, and we all kept playing, and later she fell again and faked hurting her ankle, and then the next day came to school with an ankle brace. <laughs> people falling down <laughs> is the, so se the second time the second time you fall like i'd fake an injury too i would just lay there i wouldn't even get up yeah leave me here to die just keep going leave me here falling is just like such a humiliating silly thing to happen like it's just like there's just like literally no dignity in it at all <laughs> like, like just, falling falling is just it's it's a, it's a yeah just such a humbling and embarrassing thing to happen mm -hmm. to you. It's almost like, and when it's a good fall, bitch, it's like, it's just like I'm waiting for death to take me. <laughs> like, it's just, that's how humiliating it is. And I think the humiliation is like, because it's so silly. Like, yeah. it's not life threatening at all. And it's not like, you know what I'm saying? Like anything that could like, truly like harm you in a way that's irreversible <laughs> but like falling in a silly way is just there's just nothing, nothing like, like that it, kind really. of that kind of shame and humiliation is so specific truly it's like just so fucking awful like the feeling of it <laughs> is fucking terrible dude so like her first of all her getting up and still playing is and like you're saying like you're still it <laughs> it's crazy <laughs> 
well, you're still it. You didn't tag Are me. Are you okay? So. And she goes, yeah, well, my ankle kind of hurts. So like, okay, well, you're still it. So the first time she fell, she's still playing and she's still in. And then she falls the second time, bitch. <laughs> I wouldn't recover, to be honest, <laughs> personally. That's just so awful when you fall, especially at an age where like, People are so mean. I mean. Yeah, when you're little, no one, everyone's just like, oh, shoot, are you okay? Or they don't care. But when you fall when you're older, everyone, it's funny. <laughs> it's it's funny. so bad. I'm trying to think of the last time either I fell or I saw someone fall. I mean, I told y'all when I fell at that one like, yeah, the event, work yeah. thing I did. but I think that might have been one of the last times I saw someone fall. It was you. Yeah, me too. Was watching myself fall. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, I fell at Long Beach Pride, and I think my foot is still messed up from it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But you were also drunk, too, so it's, like, it's not as funny, like, when you're, like, <laughs> intoxicated. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, if someone, because you're just, like, oh, well, like, they're having a good time. They're getting silly. It's, mm-hmm. like, you know what I'm saying? But, like, it's when you're, like, being serious or, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just like <laughs> I'm trying to think of like the last time I saw someone like really fall. It's like you said, there's like no dignity in it. <laughs> it's just there's just no cool way to fall. Yeah. Like I don't give a fuck how cool you are, bitch. Like you trip and fall in public, and other people see it. It's just another level of humiliation. <laughs> like that picture you always post of Justin Bieber when he's falling <laughs> off that unicycle, bro. Holy fuck! It's like dude. never not funny. I've seen that picture so many times too. Like I showed Billy those pictures once, and he was he laughed so hard. The like progression of them is so funny. As much as I laugh, like I also like I feel you, bro. Like it's fucking so humiliating, so humiliating. That's how it feels. Like it's so like it's because it's so fucking silly. Like. It's so silly and it feels like it could have been avoided. That's like, yeah. I think the reason why it's so awful. So this last one's from Emma. She said, this isn't mine, but it is my sister's. <laughs> uh, we were in the fourth grade and we were at recess. Her crush was playing four square and she was jumping rope. She walked over in the middle of their game and started jump roping. She tripped on her jump rope and fell straight on her face. And she, and I quote, I'm pretty sure my butt crack was showing <laughs> because her shirt rode up in the back. Holy fuck, dude. Her peacocking and then immediately eating shit. That's crazy. <laughs> and your butt crack is showing? <laughs> Why, girl? It's one thing to fall. We just talked about falling. What's another thing to fall and your butt crack hang out? <laughs> that is humiliating. If I fall like that, I hope it kills me. <laughs> I hope like, the jump rope somehow <laughs> ends around my neck as I'm falling to the ground. <laughs> oh, shit. I hope I just spontaneously combust. <laughs> like, I just explode on this one. Upon impact. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're a butt crack sound, bro. I'm pretty sure my butt crack was showing. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> That would kill me. I would I would never forget that either. Yeah, that's pretty bad. That would haunt me for the rest of my <laughs> life, too. Holy shit. And you're man, you got a plumber situation going on too. That's crazy. Then you gas I really my butt crack. I don't even have one. <laughs> First of all. <laughs> it's a medical condition. Dude, that's like <laughs> I just imagine the the kid that you were like showing out in front of. It's like, what the hell? Like, they're like, and then you trip and fall, and then they see your butt crack, and then they're like, dude, come get out of here, dude. Get out. Get the fuck out of here. First, you're going to interrupt my game, and then you're going to fall, and then I have to see your ass crack. They see it, and they're like, (laughs) get the fuck out of here, dude. Dude, come on. Get out. (laughs) Throws the ball at her head while she's laying on the ground. That reminds me of uh, a story that uh, <laughs> Carlo told me. <laughs> you guys know Carlo? Yeah. <laughs> he told me that one time in his old neighborhood that he lived in, um, there was this lady and she was like uh, walking. And I think that she was like on something. Um, but he said she was completely naked. Okay. And she was like screaming and yelling on a corner and he was going to a CBS to get some toiletries. Like he was just walking into it and he was like, Oh, right. When he saw her, she was like older. He said he was like, she was pretty old. 
And she had nothing on, like literally nothing on except shoes. <laughs> I remember this story. Yeah. And so he goes into the CVS and then uh, he can hear the security guard being like, you can't come in here. And it's because she has no clothes on, obviously. So he's like, ma'am, you can't come in here. And she's like, why not? I need to buy stuff. And he's like, that they have a policy. You can't come in here. He's like arguing with her. And she's like, I need to buy things. And then the security guy's like, ma'am, if you come any closer, I'm going to have to call the police. Like, don't. And then she's like, you know what? Fuck you. And then she turns around, bends over and like spreads her cheeks. Right. So like, like, that's like her way of like lifting him off. And he's like, he said that. The security guy was like, no, 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 no. Right. <laughs> She just took <laughs> off like she just left. Like after she did that, and he said he walked by when he left. And the security guard was sitting like this, and he was like, <laughs> and he said he was like, I just know I ruined that dude's day. <laughs> Why did you do that? <laughs> so I was like, honestly, if I was security, I'd be like, go ahead, like. <laughs> You know what? You earned it. You earned it. You, like, you got me. There. You got me. You get in there. I don't want any more problems. Please. Just go. <laughs> just just go. go. Clearly you need it bad enough, so just go. Like, fire me, bitch. I don't care. I'm like, that man doesn't make enough money. Oh, my God, dude. That man does not make enough money to be dealing with that shit. It's such a point. Carlo has to tell it because it's like the way he tells it is so funny. It like literally made me cry. I was laughing so hard. It's like, no, 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 no. Like, come please on, don't. Man. And he's come home, man. And he said, when he was leaving, he was like, it's just like shaking his head. Like, with his hand, for those of you listening, his like hand is holding his head and he's just like, furrowed brow. It's just like exasperated thinking about all his life choices <laughs> up until that boy <laughs> that just reminds me of <laughs> that's funny it's just like like that kid's just like come on Ugh, dude and you're gonna <laughs> get out of here get out dude <sighs> come on Move. are you serious <laughs> are you kidding <sighs> so funny <laughs> okay. so Anywho. <laughs> All right, friends, that's going to do it for this week's episode of Two Idiot Girls. Yeah. If you enjoyed it, we post episodes every single Tuesday and they go live at 12 a.m. PST because people are like, why is it late? It's never late, period. But if you want to stream other but episodes. But if it is late, it's because it had to be fixed. We have technical issues, yeah, which yeah. we had last week. If you like this episode, you can stream other episodes ever. You can listen to podcasts or the video version is always on our YouTube channel. Yes. Other than that, we love you and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.